Hey y'all, welcome back and today we'll be doing the May June 2018 MOB Unit 2, Paper 2. Let's get into it. Module 1, Production and Operations Management. Tech Plus is a computer store that builds and repairs computers. The business prides itself on providing customers with high quality services. In 2015, Tech Plus expanded its services to include the repair of all types of mobile devices. The repair of mobile devices was proven to be more profitable than the repair of computers and as such, the company began to pay less attention to the computer aspect of the business. As a result, certain dimensions of quality was overlooked and overall production rates began to fall. Falling production rates led to loss of profits. The profitability problem was further compounded by increased in their costs. 1A wants us to define each of the following terms in their costs. In their costs, the overheads are costs that cannot be attributed to a particular product or process. Simple as that. For well, productivity now, um, productivity is defined as a measure of efficiency with which a firm turns production inputs into outputs or productivity is a measure of the efficiency and effectiveness with which resources such as labor, capital, and materials are utilized to produce goods or services. Another two marks. Part B want to identify three quality assurance strategies and explain how Tech Plus could use each of these strategies to improve the quality of its services. To begin with, Tech Plus can improve the quality of its services by implementing a strategy focused on ensuring the quality of its suppliers. This involves carefully selecting and monitoring suppliers to ensure they meet the company's quality standards. Tech Plus should conduct a thorough evaluation of potential suppliers. Considering factors such as reputation, reliability, and adherence to industry standards. By choosing suppliers that consistently provide high quality components and parts, Tech Plus can ensure that the products it builds are in a pair of superior quality. In addition, Tech Plus can improve service quality by fostering a culture of commitment among its workers. This strategy involves investing in employee training sessions and workshops. Tech Plus can ensure that its employees stay up to date with the latest industry trends and technological advancements. Furthermore, the company should encourage and incentivize employees to take ownership of their work and take pride in delivering high quality services. Lastly, Tech Plus can differentiate itself and enhance customer satisfaction by focusing on the quality of its advice and after service services. The company should ensure that its staff is well trained and knowledgeable about the products and the services they offer. When customers seek advice or assistance, the staff should be able to provide accurate and relevant information, helping customers make informed decisions. And that is nine marks right there. Part C wants to uh, discuss three ways in which business could reduce the rising in their operating costs. To reduce rising in their operating costs, Tech Plus can consider implementing strategies like streamline and automate processes, negotiate better supplier contracts, and implement energy saving initiatives. Firstly, by implementing process optimization, and automation. Tech Plus can improve efficiency and reduce in their costs associated with manual labor. This can involve using specialized software tools to automate routine tasks, implementing efficient inventory management system, and optimizing workflow to eliminate bottlenecks and reduce the waste time. Secondly, in their costs can be influenced by the cost of materials and supplies. Therefore, Tech Plus should evaluate its existing supplier contracts and negotiate better terms to reduce costs. This can involve seeking discounts from bulk purchases, exploring alternative suppliers, 
to compare prices and leveraging long-term partners partnerships to um secure favorable pricing lastly energy costs often are a significant component of indirect operating costs therefore tech plus can adopt energy saving initiatives to reduce its electricity consumption and lower utility expenses this can involve installing energy efficient lighting systems optimizing temperature control mechanisms and encouraging employees to adopt energy conscious practices additionally the company can explore renewable energy sources such as solar panels to offset electricity costs and that is for 12 marks module 2 fundamentals of marketing the scenario reads carbon roots is a casual wear clothing design and manufacturing business owned and operated by two brothers Elijah and Malachi. There has been a steady decline in sales over the past two years. The brothers have decided to conduct market research within their target market in order to better understand customer buying behavior. The results of the survey revealed that the personal selling sales promotion strategy will lead to an increase in the volume of sales. And of course, they want to see the findings of the following terms to a Market research. What is market research? Market research refers to the systematic process of gathering, analyzing, and interpreting information about the target market or customer segment. Target markets. The term target market refers to a specific group of consumers or individuals who are most likely to be interested in and purchase a particular good or service offered by a business. B wants us to explain three advantages to carbon roots of adopting a personal selling sales promotion strategy. Firstly, personal selling allows the brothers of carbon roots to directly engage with customers on a one on one basis. This interaction enables them to build personal connections and establish trust and understand customers' needs and preferences. This personalized experience can significantly enhance customer satisfaction and loyalty, leading to increased sales and customer retention. Secondly, with personal selling, the brothers have the opportunity to demonstrate and explain the unique features and benefits of their clothing products directly to customers. They can showcase the quality, design, and comfort of the garments and highlight the brand's carbon roots and cultural significance. Additionally, the ability to customize product presentation can significantly communicate value proposition of carbon with clothing, make it more compelling, a compelling sorry, for customers to make a purchase. Lastly, through personal selling, the brothers can gather immediate feedback from customers regarding their preferences, buying behavior, and satisfaction levels. This real-time feedback is invaluable for understanding market trends, identifying potential improvements, a modification to the product line, and refining the overall marketing strategy. Additionally, the brothers can use this feedback to adopt, or adapt, I should say, the designs pricing or marketing messages to better align customers' expectations. And that is for nine marks. C wants us to, part C, wants us to, um, well, the results of the market survey showed that internet marketing could significantly boost sales in the uniforms markets, okay? Discuss three challenges that carbon roots could face if the brothers decide to adopt internet marketing. If carbon roots des des decides to adopt internet marketing as a strategy to boost sales, they may face several challenges such as digital marketing expertise and resources, adopting to evolving technology and platforms 
and online security and data privacy concerns. Firstly, effectively implementing internet marketing strategies requires a certain level of expertise and resources. Therefore, Kevin Root may face challenges in acquiring the necessary digital marketing skills or hiring qualified professionals to handle their online marketing efforts. Additionally, the brothers may need to consider um, training its current employees to gain the necessary skills, which represents an additional cost to the business. Secondly, the digital landscape is consistently evolving with new technologies and platforms emerging regularly. Therefore, Cameron Roots may struggle to keep up with the rapid pace of change and adopt their internet marketing strategies accordingly. This may require ongoing research, attending industry conferences, and investing in tools and technologies to track and analyze online marketing metrics. Furthermore, adapting to evolving technology can be a resource-intensive process, and failure to do so may result in missed opportunities or ineffective marketing campaigns. Lastly, internet marketing involves collecting and maintaining managing sorry not maintaining managing customer data which comes with its own set of challenges furthermore online security breaches or data privacy concerns can significantly damage the company's reputation and erode customer trust additionally they will need to invest in security payment gateways implement data encryption measures and regularly update the system to address potential vulnerabilities Going on to module three, small business management. The easiest um, module in my opinion. This scenario reads, Peter and his father Alexander own and operate the good stuff. A small business that produces desks and chairs for the two privately owned high schools in the parish of Ellesmere. Ellesmere is located in the Kevin Island of Koza. The father and son execute all the functions of the business. Because of the high durability of the goods stock products, the Ministry of Education has asked Peter and Alexander to make a bid to supply desk and chairs to 100 government-owned high schools in Ellesmere. The government has a procurement policy that requires service providers to do competitive bidding, especially if they are classified as small businesses. Part A wanted to outline two challenges that the goods stuff could experience if they were to win the bid to supply desk and chairs to 100 government owned schools. Firstly, the good stuff may face challenges in sourcing so significant or sufficient capital to invest in expanding their ma manufacturing capacities. Also, they will need to explore various finance, financing options to fulfill the large government contract. Lastly, the business will need to carefully consider their production facilities location. Also, they will need to conduct thorough research and possibly seek professional advice to make an informed decision on the best location for their expanded operations. That is for full marks. Part B, Peter and Alexander is in the process of putting together the bid for the contract to supply desk and chairs to the 100 government-owned high schools. They are required to develop a business plan as part of the bid. Describe three items that Peter and Alexander will need to place in the operations sections of the business plan. In the operations section of the business plan, Peter and Alexander will need to include the following three elements. Firstly, facilities and space required. This section should outline the physical facilities and space needed to meet the production demands of supplying desks and chairs to 100 government-owned high schools. They will need to specify the size and location of manufacturing facility, warehouse, and any additional space required for storage and logistics. Additionally, mentioning factors like proximity to transportation hubs or schools can also be beneficial. Secondly, the machinery 
and equipment required. The operations plan should list all the machinery and equipment necessary for manufacturing desks and chairs at such a scale. This includes specifying the type of machinery such as woodworking tools, cutting machines, sanding equipment, and assembly line system. Lastly, labor requirements. This section should detail the human resources needed to execute the manufacturing and supply operations successfully. Peter and Alexander must specify the different roles and positions required such as skilled carpenters, assembly line workers, warehouse staffs, and administrative personnel. Furthermore, it is crucial to discuss the plans for, require, for recruitment, training, and retention of employees to ensure a skilled and motivated workforce. And the last part of this paper, we have that the management of the good stuff realized that they would need to expand production significantly to be able to service the contract should they win the bid. However, they do not have the required skills and resources to do so as their highest level of education is a secondary school diploma. Hence, they plan to seek assistance from the Small Business Association of Ellesmere. Discuss three types of assistance that Peter and Alexander will need in order to expand their small business if they were awarded the contract. If Peter and Alexander are awarded a contract to supply desk and chairs to 100 government-owned high schools in Ellesmere, they will need three types of assistance to expand their small business successfully. Firstly, financial assistance. The good stuff will need financial assistance to purchase raw materials, upgrade equipment, and hire additional staff to meet the increased demand. They may take loan or grants from small business from the Small Business Association of Ellesmere or other financial assist other financial institutions to fund the, the expansion. Additionally, adequate financial support would enable them to scale of their operations without compromising the quality of their products and ensure they can fulfill the contract requirements effectively. Secondly, technical assistance. As Peter and Alexander do not possess the required skills and resources to expand production to such a large scale, they will need technical assistance. This could involve collaborating with experienced professionals, a consultant in the furniture and manufacturing industry, Furthermore, these experts can provide valuable insights into optimizing production processes, implementing quality control measures, and enhancing efficiency. With the guidance of experts, the good stuff can develop a more streamlined and competitive manufacturing process to fulfill the government's contract successfully. Lastly, education and training. To meet the demands of the government contract and deliver high quality products consistently, Peter and Alexander will benefit from education and training programs. Small Business Association of Ellesmere could offer training sessions and a workshop on various aspects of business management, including project planning, supply chain management, and financial management. Additionally, they will need training on product design and development to ensure that desks and chairs meet the specifications of the government's procurement policy and that is it guys see you all next time